every night on the Q&A, we are answering your questions about COVID-19 and about life in general. And we're also verifying a lot of the information that you see online. One person responsible for doing that, our very own Evan Kozlov joining us this evening to talk about what they're working on tonight for the News at 11. And, and Evan, you got a pretty interesting question from a viewer out in Fairfax County. Very interesting. Sometimes we get to go uh, really deep into the legalese here to find out what's going on. He here's the situation. So as he said, this person's in Fairfax County, works multiple jobs, one at a nursing home and the other at a hospital in food services. And this person was told by the employer at the nursing home that this person needed to quit the second job, basically saying that uh, they're going to fire this person if they don't quit the second job because they didn't want the transmission of the virus. It's a very logical reason, uh, but this person wanted to know, is it legal? So what we did is we went and tracked down both the Virginia Department of Labor and Industry and Mark Pierce. He's got a long resume. Uh, he's the executive director for the Workers' Right Institute over at Georgetown Law. And basically, the answer is this. Virginia is an employment at will state, which means you could be fired basically for no reason or any reason at all. So long as it's non-discriminatory and it's equal to everybody, uh, the term is non-disparate. He had, he had a great way to describe this. He said to, that he used to tell his clients that you can't get fired for the color of your skin, but you can get fired for the color of your shirt. And Evan, you also looked into this issue both in D.C. and Maryland as well. What did you find out? Well, really, it comes down to that same term, which is employment at will. We spoke with the Department of Labor in Maryland and an employment lawyer in D.C. by the name of Scott Oswald. And both of them said that, look, those jurisdictions are also employment at will states. So it's going to come down to those two things that we talked about before. As long as the policy is non-discriminatory and it's applied consistently to everybody that works there, it is OK to fire somebody for this reason. And what was interesting is uh, here from the Maryland Department of Labor, they said that they've heard this question multiple times uh, from people who are working at nursing homes because many of these people do work at multiple facilities. And so it becomes this balancing act where you want to keep everybody safe. And they are there is the possibility that you could transmit the virus from one nursing home to the other. So uh, the final answer here is yes, you can be fired for this so long as it's non-discriminatory and non-disparate. OK, and uh, if people want to get in contact with you, say they see something online, say they want to get something verified, how can they get in touch with you? Right. So uh, we run on uh, messages from you guys. So please send us an email, verify at WUSA9.com. We will find the experts like we did with this story, try to get you all the answers. All right, Evan, thank you so much. We certainly appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you back in the office sometime soon.